You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger, and I want to know, are you ready to enter the Megalodon? It's not a metal band or a monster truck, but Karen Burns from the Virginia Aquarium is here to tell us why it's just as cool. Karen, what's the Megalodon? The Megalodon is an extinct species of shark, but the history of that animal will give us a lot of information about the sharks that roam the oceans today. I mean, kind of true to its cool name, it's huge, right? Yep, the Megalodon was a shark that was about 60 feet long, weighed about 77 tons, and ate about 2,500 pounds of food a day when it was full grown. So very large predatory animal that roamed the oceans about 20 million years ago. So how's the aquarium gonna let us get inside it? Well, you're literally gonna get inside it to start with because the entrance to the exhibit will bring you through a life-size replica of a Megalodon shark. And then throughout the exhibit, we have really cool kiosks that will introduce you to Megalodon and some of the other really crazy sharks that lived millions of years ago. And all of this is inside the replica of the Megalodon. Like that's how huge it is. Yeah, some of that is right inside of it. Some of the exhibit displays, others are on the outside of our changing exhibit gallery. And you can visit the various kiosks to learn about teeth of all the different sharks. You can learn about how do we even know that Megalodon existed. And we do have um, some actual fossil Megalodon teeth. And this tooth was actually found in Virginia in Surrey County. They were found, um, they're, they're found all over the place worldwide. And this is just one of the really cool things you'll get to see if you come to the aquarium. So that like, just, I don't know about you, but just knowing that it was here, even at some point in history, kind of gives me a little shiver. But just as a comparison, um, what type of tooth were you saying that this was? Uh, the shark tooth you're holding is probably from either a mako or a sand tiger shark. And we do have sand tiger sharks at our aquarium. And the largest one is probably about 11 to 12 feet long. Whereas this one might not be a full grown megalodon, but it's still gonna be a pretty darn good sized shark. And I mean, this one just looks like a thumbtack compared to it. It just looks like, oh, dee, dee, dee. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and tooth structure tells us what they eat. If you feel the outside of this one, it's very rough and serrated. And it's gonna tell you that this guy grabbed stuff and then shredded it to eat it. Eek. So the animals who lived along with him weren't exactly, I mean, it wasn't a safe time to be cruising the seas. And you guys have got some animals that lived back then, or at least that were related. Mm -hmm. We do, we have a live animal component. It's not a megalodon, but we do have some really cool creatures that are in today's oceans and they're called nautilus. And I have a shell from a nautilus, but we have five live nautilus that are in an aquarium in the megalodon exhibit, just to give you an idea of some of the other animals that um, could have been around or were around when the Megalodon was, was roaming the oceans. There was a extinct relative called an ammonite of the Nautilus, but we have the real live thing in our aquariums right there in the exhibit area. And those things basically look like an octopus stuffed in a shell? Well, they're related to octopus and squid and they have some tentacles that kind of stick out here. Really super cool. They live down in deep water uh, during the daytime. At night, they rise up to feed in the more shallow water. So they're really interesting and kind of creepy looking themselves. <laughs> nice. Well, they would have to be to be able to roll with the Megalodon. Now, speaking of animals that were alive during that time period, there's a um, new feature with the IMAX coming out. We do. We have a new movie called Sea Rex, and it's a 3D uh, movie, and it is super interesting and kind of some stuff jumps out at you during the movie, so a little thrill there when you're watching it, but it gives folks an idea of some of the really interesting and unusual creatures that did roam the seas 20 million years ago, and um, a lot of this is is fossil records. A lot of it is from teeth that we, we have come up with some of the ideas as to what these sharks and other critters may have looked like. And both Sea Rex and the Megalodon exhibit are gonna be going until February 17th, correct? That is correct, in our changing exhibit gallery till February 17th, and we're open from nine to five. Wow, so I mean, more information, obviously, we can go to the website, virginiaaquarium.com. You can as go to the, yep. Yeah, as go well to the, as calling 385-FISH. That's correct. 
And I mean, this is on top of everything else the aquarium has. It is. Well, of course, we've got all of our great exhibits, including uh, the Restless Planet exhibits and our Marsh Pavilion and even the Nature Trail in the in the winter months. It's nice to get out there because we have such great uh, wildfowl that visit Owls Creek. So lots to do in the winter time there as well, besides Absolutely. visit the exhibit. Well, check out all the Virginia Aquarium has to offer. Get showtimes for C-Rex 3D at virginiaaquarium.com or by calling 385-FISH. I'm Michelle Seeger. Thanks for watching Hot Ticket.